Hi there and welcome. We are Koos and Daphne and we are the Flying Nomads. Together with Mickey our cat, we're on an overland trip in a box truck conversion. We want to explore and fly the best flying sites around the world and share them with you. So join us on our adventure. Coming from the Czech Republic, we spend the night at the lake at Nisa. Cross the border into Poland when we're being checked out completely and then we move on to Oswiecim, better known as Auschwitz. After this very impressive visit, we go to the historical city of Krakow. Leaving the men in tights and move on. So we just arrived here at Pincho. A uh, little airstrip and ultralight club, and the people are very hospitable. And well, we can just stay here and camp, have a shower if we want, or even do the laundry. Well, hopefully, we can fly here. Well, the only ones flying around here will be the mosquitoes. For the next couple of days, there won't be a tug pilot. Time for something else. Pass auf für die Mücken! Super, ja, Weil wenn das nicht straff hier rum ist und man es äh, wenn man wickelt ihn nur halb ja. ja, und fängt dann an zu ziehen, dann Dann ist da noch äh, Spielraum ja. da drin und dann fängt an der, der Motor zu drehen, aber dann, äh, dann, dann, dann dreht sich das ineinander. Seil ineinander ja. Ja. und da gibt es sehr schnell Hitze ja. und dann schmilzt es. Unfortunately, the only ones flying around here are the mosquitoes. There's not going to be a tug pilot for a couple of days, so we're going to try something else. Now that's out of the way. We go to a little ridge just north of Pincho. Some people that managed to come in the future. It's very underweight, probably.
because the wind is from the wrong direction. There's a lot of waiting, trying, waiting, trying, and repeat. But then, those who keep trying, they get to fly. Well, only two and a half minutes then. And here it's still sideways, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it's even worse now. Bloody hell, why did I walk up there? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> because it was just fun. Finally, in the end, the wind comes from the right direction and Koos and Hans manage to get off. Well, only for about two and a half to four minutes. The drive down takes a little longer because we parked on the top and not at the landing field, which is much more clever. Well, the next couple of days probably are not going to be flyable, so we're moving on to the north. But I can already tell you that there's going to be a lot of water involved. Well, thanks for watching, see you next time.